Oh, hello there. I'm Texas Governor Rick Perry. And here we are in the living room of my mobile home in Austin. You know what pisses me off? I mean, really, pisses me off. It's when privileged little college boys say that folks like you and me is lazy. And that's just what that Barack Obama did the other day. Yeah, I know. It was hard for me to believe, too. But that spoiled rich boy, Obama, what never had to work for nothing in his entire life. He says good, decent, Christian, working folks like you and me is lazy. But don't take my word for it. Take a look see at the old television and see for yourself. But, you know, we've been a little bit lazy, I think, over the last couple of decades. We've kind of taken it for granted, well, people will want to come here, and we aren't out there hungry selling America and trying to attract new businesses into America. Oopsie. My bad. Didn't cut that off quite quick enough. Here's the important part, however. But, you know, we've been a little bit lazy, I think. But, you know, we've been a little bit lazy, I think. But, you know, we've been a little bit lazy, I think. But, you know, we've been a little bit lazy, I think. But, you know, we've been a little bit lazy. Now, don't that make you mad enough to want to kick the Pope right in the nut sack? I tell you what, this old cowboy is about as pissed off as pissed off can get. Here, this rich college boy, Obama, grew up with a silver spoon in his mouth, and he has the balls, the goddamn balls, to look, you and me, right in the eye. And say we is lazy. Like a bunch of them dirty, shitless, nig. Well, you know what I mean. I tell you what. There ain't a lazy bone in my white, Christian, God-fearing body. And I know the same is true with you. Who gives a rat's ass if what he said was the truth, or not? The point is, he said it. And it is our right, as Americans, to misunderstand what he said, and be offended by it. Now, if you ain't got a problem with one of those people calling you lazy. You ain't the kind of person I want to vote for me anyway. But if you're a real American, and, like me, you believe that those people ought to stay in their place and not tell good, decent, white, Christians the truth about themselves. Well, sir or ma'am, I know, you know, what to do. Now, I ain't telling nobody to grant their guns and go to Washington and do nothing about it. What I am asking, however, is for you to decide who you want telling you what to do. One of them. No, no good. You know what's who thinks he's better than you is. Or a decent, white, Christian, white man from Texas who prays to the same Jesus that you prays to. And when you looks at it, that way partner, the choice seems pretty simple, now don't it? Oops. Time for leave it to Beaver. Gotta go. Thanks for dropping by. And remember, Rick Perry don't think you're any lazier than he is. Or, any smarter. Bye now. Man, that Ted D has killed his one brown nosing some bitch. Ain't he just... I wish I was Beaver's dad. I'd spank that ass every goddamn night.